Howdy, I've got an interesting report coming out of Australia that, uh, wow, there's, there's riots going on right now in Australia over, uh, over some attacks, and uh, people are fed up. People are absolutely fed up. So first off, let's back up a little bit. Let's back up to Saturday afternoon. There was a, a person who stabbed and killed six people. I don't know how many people total he stabbed, but six people had died. Uh, police had shot him. Let me go ahead and bring over. I'll, I've got three links here that I'll share with you. Um, this is the article here about that particular stabbing. And police were... Um, Police, when they responded, they fatally shot the attacker. Uh, apparently, it was a 40-year-old man. Don't know really a whole lot of details other than they're saying that um, that they they say it was because of mental health issues. So I guess that's a, a pass-all, if you will. Uh, so that had happened Saturday afternoon, okay? And then, lo and behold, Monday... We had this happen here, that, and I say Monday, of course, it's Monday here now, but, um, you know, they're, they're ahead of us in time. So, uh, anyway, man stabs priest during sermon. Well, he was a bishop, but um, anyway, it says here a bishop was stabbed during a sermon in Sydney, Australia that was being broadcast online, local media reports. The incident comes just days after another knife attack in Australia's largest city left six people dead. So, this is the RT article on it. Again, I will provide that as well, as well as this article here. Bishop allegedly stabbed by 15-year-old boy during service in Sydney, while three others also injured. And uh, you can online, I'm not going to play it uh, here because of YouTube, I get all up in their feelies and... Um, and in fact, the very end of this article, I can't read because YouTube would get all up in their feelings. Um, so anyway, this article here says police have arrested a 15-year-old boy after a prominent bishop and three other men were allegedly stabbed during a service at an Assyrian church on Monday evening. Video posted on social media shows Christian leader Bishop Mar Mary Emmanuel allegedly being attacked at Wakeley's Christ the Good Shepherd Church while delivering a sermon about 7.10 p.m. Monday. After the attack, a furious mob of around 2,000 people swarmed near the church with riots breaking out and police struggling to maintain order. A number of police officers were injured after being hurt during the unrest. Uh, crowds also formed at Liverpool Hospital after at least some of those injured at the church were taken there for treatment. It is understood the hospital has gone into lockdown as a result. Now, I, it took me a little bit to figure out what's going on here, and I wanted to, to really nail down why are they rioting. You know, was this a, was this a, a quote-unquote immigrant or something like that? W what's the deal? Uh, I don't really know, I can't really pin that down other than people are just pissed off about the violence that's going on. Um, however, however, we're going to get to a, kind of an interesting point here in a moment. It says, NSW police give an update in the early hours of the morning on Tuesday where they confirmed that the alleged attack attacker was known to police and was not a regular attendee of the church. Addressing media, Acting Assistant Commissioner Andrew Holland said the boy had been apprehended by worshippers and taken to an undisclosed location. Well, they say undisclosed location, but I think he was taken to the hospital. You'll see why I say that, and it also would make sense that people started showing up to the hospital. And let me just continue the article. Uh, he is asked to speak with his parents with police working on that request. He is currently being treated for severe hand injuries, okay? So that's what makes me think he's in the hospital, and that's why people descended upon the hospital, why the hospital had to go into lockdown. I'm just speculating on that. Uh, it says here, uh, Acting Assistant Commissioner Holland was also asked by rumors about rumors that the boy had his finger cut off after the attack in an act of revenge. Hmm. 
says reports are that he has injuries to his hands. I don't know the extent of those injuries at this point, he said. His injuries are quite severe in his hand. He's fairly upset and fairly distraught. So it sounds to me like that claim might be true, that maybe somebody cut his finger off for stabbing the bishop. Hmm, interesting, huh? Said police said officers were continuing to work on restoring order following the riots and will continue to monitor places of worship throughout the night. So, image is there. I haven't watched this video yet, but I am going to watch that video. Not with you guys, but you'll have the link. You can watch it at your leisure. I don't know what's all on there. And again, YouTube, they're, you know, eh, pansies. Uh, it says, chaos erupts, riots erupted following the alleged stab. Um, with one video posted to social media showing a large crowd at the scene with property damage. Other footage shows dozens of people bashing ambulance windows as onlookers filmed some conflict in the background. So they were probably pissed off because this dude was being treated, right? Uh, it goes on to say, he's an effing dog, one man can be heard saying. Another video shows the injured bishop appearing to cover part of his face with a woman yelling or telling the person filming to stop using their camera. In more confronting footage, the alleged attacker appears to be held down by multiple people. One man with blood on his jeans straddles the alleged attacker's head with his legs. The video also shows him smiling at the camera. In a statement, the church confirmed Father Isaac Royal was a among the injured. We ask for your prayers at this time, the statement read. It is the bishop's and father's wishes that you also pray for the perpetrator. We also kindly ask anyone at the church premises to leave in peace. Okay. It says, um, please say none of the injuries sustained by any of the other four victims are life-threatening. Fairf Fairfield Mayor Frank Carbone uh, said the alleged attack was horrific and he understood people were distraught, but he also called for calm. I understand that many people are upset, and justifiably so, he told Sky News. Obviously, it's terrible. I feel for everybody that witnessed that stabbing, but I do call for calm. The police will do their job, and please let's not make the police's job any harder. Okay? Again, more images. You'll have the link. Says Premier Chris Menz described the scene as disturbing. I have received a briefing from the Commissioner of Police and the NSW Health on the situation, he said in a statement. My thoughts and prayers are with the victims and the first responders who are working to keep us safe. It's important that the community remain calm and continue to listen and act, um, act to the directions of police and emergency services. We are, we are a strong community in NSW. I think that's... Uh, is it New South Wales or something? I'm not sure. Uh, and it's important that we all stick together, particularly in the face of ad adversity. The shocking footage of the alleged attack shows the bishop speaking when a younger person dressed in black calmly wa walks up to him. The bishop looks at the alleged attacker, who then makes a stabbing motion to the face and neck area. The bishop then falls to the ground. Screams are heard from the crowd as several people rush forward to try to help. The camera then pans away. The footage was taken from a live stream from the church's YouTube page. Dozens of police raced to the church where an angry crowd gra gathered and further violence erupted. An NSW ambulance spokesman told NCA Newswire a man aged in his 50s was taken to Liverpool Hospital with multiple stab wounds. Three other people were also injured. A man aged in his 30s suffered multiple lacerations. A man in his 20s received a cut to his hand. And a man in his 60s was wounded in his arm. In a statement, NSW police said an operation was underway at the church in Wakeley following reports of a stabbing. Uh, uh, officers attached to Fairfield City Police Area Command, supported by multiple police resources from a number of commands and specialist units, attended police said. A male was arrested and remains in police custody. The injured individuals suffered non-life-threatening injuries and were treated by NSW ambulance paramedics before being conveyed to the hospital. 
A large police response is underway and the public is urged to avoid the area. More information will be provided once it becomes available. The attack on the bishop comes just three days after six people were killed during a stabbing massacre at Sydney Bondi Westfield Shopping Center. There is nothing to suggest that the two events are linked. Uh, part of this I can't read. Um, a bishop gained prominence during the COVID-19 pandemic after describing Sydney's lockdown as mass slavery. That part I can read. I can't read the next sentence. Um, but he got, went on to say, are we humans because we are being treated like animals? Bishop Emmanuel said in a sermon in 2021. I don't want to read that one either. You can read that yourself. And then the last sentence says he has a large following on social media, including TikTok and Facebook. So he's pretty much internationally known for his stance that he took over the, the COVID-19 measures. Very interesting. People are very upset. Um, I don't, uh, I, I, I can't really pin down why they decided to start rioting and stuff. I I honestly, I, I don't know, other than people are just pissed. They're tired of it. They're tired of this. And, you know, you're talking about a nation to where they no longer have the right to, to, to have a firearm. They, they no longer have the right to self-defense. And it's sad. It is sad. We are seeing that happen all over the world, and it's increasingly happening in the United States. You know, just because you may have the right to bear arms in the United States doesn't mean that it's a green light if you use that right. Um, there are a lot of people that are being strung up by the NADs, for lack of better terms, um, for self-defense, for simply self-defense. And, you know, you get a leftist um, judge in a leftist area, and, and it's not just about politics, but, I mean, let's be real here. Um, you get in, involved in, in a, a Democratic area, and you got Democratic judges. Democrat, I should say, judges. Um, chances are, for defending yourself, you're going to be in some trouble. It's, it's really ridiculous. It's bizarre. Um, but, hey, you're talking about somebody that's had to deal with the family court system, like, what, three decades ago? And I saw then how victims, the actual victims, did nothing but get victimized by the courts, by the governments. It took me, it took me going to court for, what was it, two years? I think it was two years. Uh, it took me going to court. And all I wanted was the name on the child support check to be changed from the mother's name to the grandmother's name because the grandmother had legal guardianship. She was the one that was taking care of my son. The mother was, uh, was showing up when the child support check came because it came in her name. She was showing up, taking the check before her, her mom, my son's grandma, could get home from work she would show up take the check go cash it so she could go out partying that was where my child support was going and that was absolute bs um his mother wasn't taking care of him she in fact the only time she'd ever seen him for the most part was at christmas time when she'd show up for her christmas presents that's about it and um i she's no longer with us and i'm not in any way sorrow you know sorrowful if however you want to word it over that i'm just i'm not what am i supposed to be right she was a piece of shit piece of shit world's a better place it is what it is um so i know about this whole ideal of victimizing the victims been there done that for a long time and it's becoming an all-encompassing thing in, in most nations, especially in ours right now. So I'm assuming maybe that is why uh, that is why people are upset is because they're just tired of it and people are expected to just be victimized and, and be happy victims. It's crazy. It is crazy. Anyway, um, 
Just thought I'd bring you this story. Kind of bizarre. Shalom.